In this tutorial we will be painting red gift bow and learning how to create shiny parts on this bow with watercolors. An outline drawing is done, which is available for download and now we can remove the excess amount of graphite off with an elastic eraser. Now to color mixing, adding water to palette. Then taking Senelier Red for the first mix. Adding more Senelier Red. Adding Perlin Maroon to Senelier mi Mix. We will need lots of reds, different shades of reds and a little bit of pinks for such a vibrant subject. Second mix is a little bit of both from previous, Senelier Red and Perlin Maroon. Adding a little bit more of Senelier Red. And the third one is Permanent Rose for the very light, lightest parts of this gift bow. Now applying water and painting one section at a time. A little closer view. And with the fine, finest brush you have, with the very tip of it, I'm taking a light mix of Senelier Red and adding to the watery surface this watercolor mix and carefully pushing and spreading watercolors. Working with the tip of the brush, while the surface is wet, I can move pigment wherever I need. And look carefully at your reference, you will notice that those red colors, red marks, go in a bit of like lines. And those white areas, those shiny areas, are left uncolored. And you already see here that I left some spots uncolored with watercolors. Now with a clean and dry brush I'm a little bit wiping out the pigment from those light areas because water is spreading and with it it's a little bit of pigment is spreading to those areas which should stay light. A little bit of more wiping out from the paper with clean and dry brush. And as you can see, while the surface is wet, pigment is easily picking off the paper. It's very transparent, very watery layer, still very light, nothing too dark, nothing too vibrant. We will build with layers the vibrancy of this gift bow. Now to the next part. Doing the same method, first water, applying water to the surface and then carefully putting pigment on the watery surface.
wiping out pigment from the surface while the surface is still wet with a clean and dry brush. Working with the tip of the brush and carefully look at your reference and see the texture on this gift bow, how those shiny and red areas look like. They look like uh, little lines. If you look closely, really closely, you will notice those lines. That's how we will be painting this red gift bow. With little tiny brush strokes and not touching the lightest areas. Smoothing out the applied brush strokes so they are not so very sharp and visible, just slightly to keep that texture visible. And do the same to the rest of the sections. The technique is the same. Everything follows with each section. Just look carefully and closely which is darker, which is lighter. Where are those light areas? Where are those shiny areas? Where are some shadows from the section besides that what you are painting? Carefully study your reference. And this first layer is the same to all these little sections of this gift bow. And later we will start building more layers to get the richness of this red gift bow. Now I'm taking round synthetic brush and quite watery color mix and I will be going over the mid-tones and darker areas to add extra layer and smooth out layer underneath and also color over the very light parts which are, if I look in reference, not so white as the white paper. And now I'm in the finishing stage of painting this red bow. I would say that I, I can paint more and more. You can add more layers to create more richer in red color because if, look, if looking in real life at that red gift bow, it is still more saturated, a little bit darker. So this is a matter of your patience and time how much time and you can 
dedicate to this painting or maybe take a break and come back later this is your choice and for me this practice looks already great I love it very festive very beautiful thank you thank you very much for being here and hope you learned something new this is an amazing opportunity to paint together with you all Thank you and see you in my next tutorials. Bye-bye!